All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repping life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Man, it's unbelievable, man. Um, uh, As y'all come on in here, man. Um, It's crazy, man. Uh. Hold on one second. So Christian Wood for the Los Angeles Lakers, you guys, uh, as y'all come on in here, uh, according to the reports, man, this dude right here is facing some serious allegations right now, man. And some women went off online. Some women went wild online. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, she went in. Uh, she's basically accusing him of threatening uh her life and dude apparently had a shovel in his hand the whole time and the dispute was over a, a child now according to the reports uh the incident involving los angeles lakers star the only reason why i say this that's because what the article says in usa today i mean i mean not usa today excuse me that's what the article says and um and uh and uh uh that i'm reading right here from the uh from the reports online it says that uh the incident involving Los Angeles Lakers star Christian Wood allegedly threatened a woman who refused to give his child has sparked widespread concern and garnered significant attention on social media. Uh, Tamara Kissin, known as him, why name Steve on Instagram, posted clips and screenshots documenting Christian Wood's visit to her home in an attempt to retrieve his child. Despite Kristen deleting the post, the content quickly quickly went viral, drawing scrutiny and raising questions about Christian Wood's actions. In her Instagram caption, Kristen detailed the events, explaining that she was babysitting her friend's son when Christian Woods unexpectedly appeared at her door, demanding his child. It says that Kristen who claimed she had never met Wood before, expressed reluctance to hand over the child, especially given the circumstances surrounding his arrival at her home in the early hours of the morning. She emphasized the need to involve the police in such disputes rather than taking matters into his own hands. According to Ms. Kissin, Christian Woods allegedly threatened her life after police confirmed the child was safe with his mother. She accused Christian Woods of being dangerous and unfit to be a father, prompting her to vow legal action against him. The situation escalated further with the revelation of a text exchange between Christian Woods and Mrs. Kissing. Y'all smash the like as y'all come on in. Smash the like button as y'all come on in. Where Christian Woods asserted his legal guardianship over the child and threatened to charge Kissing with kidnapping if she did not comply. However, Kissing remained steadfast in her refusal to hand a child over, opting to instead involve the law enforcement to resolve the matter. She also said that Christian Wood would be hearing from her team soon and he would uh, and that she would send his text to chain Lakers chain owner Jeannie Buss. Wood's actions, as depicted in the Instagram post, have raised questions about his behavior and decision making in an attempt to to retrieve his child. The presence of a shovel in his hand during the encounter, although not clearly audible in the videos, has also added controversy and speculation surrounding the incident. The Lakers star has not seen a lot of minutes this season, despite being a potential all-star candidate a couple of years ago, and could face major repercussions if the allegations turn out to be true. He is also having a subpar season 
Averaging 6.9 points, 5.1 rebounds on 46.6 from the field, 30.7 from the three. As the situation unfold, both Christian Woods and Mrs. Kissin may face legal repercussions with Kissin's threat of legal actions suggesting that the matter is far from resolved. The incident underscores the complexities of co-parenting arrangements and the importance of handling the disputes through the proper legal channels rather than resorting to confrontational tactics. Overall, the incident involving Christian Woods serves as a cautionary tale about the potential consequences of confrontational, confrontational behavior, confrontational behavior, excuse me, and the need for peaceful resolution in matters involving child custody and parental disputes. This woman went and posted online uh, a picture of Christian Woods Christian Woods, she's accusing that he threatened to take her life. And also she's accusing and she's saying and she's posting pictures of this dude in front of her house. She posted those pictures, those pictures that went viral online. And allegedly this man pulled up to the house and approached her with a shovel in his hand. Now she wrote, my friend wanted to go to dinner. So I babysit her son. All of a sudden, this man shows up at my house telling me to give him his son. I never met this man a day in my life. If I fumble a family and a family contract was a person, I would never give my friend's son to somebody I don't know at 5 a.m. in the morning, especially if they're having a dispute. You got a problem? Call the police. That's exactly what he did. And then threatened my life after the police showed his son safe and sound with his baby mother, came to the door with a shovel ready to beat my head in. So as he said, thank God the baby wasn't there. This man is dangerous and not fit to be a father. At Lakers, at Genie Bus, at Christian Woods, in all caps, I will see you in court. And then she posted the private messages of them. This woman is claiming, as y'all come on in, y'all smash the like button, that Christian Woods threatened to beat her to death with a shovel and posted pictures, posted pictures online from her cameras. This is the bad part about it. This girl got aerial cameras at her house. Aerial cameras. She posted aerial pictures of Christian Woods confronting her. This man might have just risked his whole entire NBA basketball career. How did this woman had aerial pic the pictures that she's showing are aerial pictures from up like perched up from like the second floor where it's like looking down on the street and you can see Christian Woods from those cameras pictures it looked like somebody also took a picture with their phone their cell phone while this incident was going on so they got Christian Woods. Uh, apparently on a uh, camera approaching this woman. Now, in the video, you couldn't hear what Christian Woods was saying from where he was at. But this woman is claiming that Christian Woods threatened to take her life. Now, again, he's innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. But the man, they don't put pictures out here. The man uh, approached her house with a shovel in his hand. And she says that he threatened to use the shovel to beat to beat her to, to death is what he what he did is what she said. Now Christian Woods, we haven't heard from him and his side on this situation. Uh, again, y'all know it gets crazy when it gets about kids. The situation gets crazy; it goes left when you talk when you talk about the youth and you talk about the kids. So uh, again, this man apparently was looking for his son, and as she said, she said, "I ain't never seen this man before." So she basically saying that she was doing babysitting. For the mother, she didn't know who Christian Woods was. Christian Woods just randomly popped up at her crib, is what she's saying out of nowhere, demanding his son. So apparently, the if Christian Woods got the address to her house and he she never met him before, that means, in my opinion, that somebody, either the mother or somebody who's in the know where the kid was at, had to give that man the location. Because if you never met him before, 
How in the world did he get the location to your house? See, these are the different questions that a lawyer is going to a lawyer is going to ask this woman in court or when they talk to the police. Is you know how did he get the location to your house if you had never met this man? Because she said in her statement that she never met or seen Christian Woods before. So that means that if that's the case, either the mother of the child or somebody within the know of the mother of the child, where the child was, had to tell Christian Woods where the location was at this woman's house. Because if you don't know a woman, how you show up at somebody's door out of the blue? Talking about something I need, I want my child. So to me, this could be a setup. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm telling y'all, this could be a setup because how is Christian Woods going to come to your house if he don't even know where you live? He never met you before. This woman said in her statement that she that Christian Woods showed up to her house and he never met her before. So obviously, if, he, if a man showed up to your house, you never met him before and he looking for his kid, do his kid, I don't know how old the kid is, do the kid have a phone and send the daddy the location? Uh, or did he talk to his dad and send the dad the location where he was at? Or what? But it's a lot of questions that got to be asked because I do see people that's bashing Christian Woods and we don't really know, we don't know like what really happened with that situation as far as how he got, how he got the location to the house in the first place. So I think that everybody, instead of rush to judgment, I think we should all wait and kind of see how this pans out because this dude's career could be on the line, bro. When you start talking about, um, you know what I'm saying, threatening to take people's lives, and when you're having the type of season that Christian Woods is having, and you had, the like, he's had a bad reputation in the NBA as far as not, as far as being, not being a, the best person to get along with and stuff, man. Man, this dude's NBA career could be on the line, bro. And he's not having a great season this year either. He's not putting up the statistical numbers that he was putting up before, bro. This could be a real bad situation for Christian Woods coming up because, again, man, when you talk about, you know, threats, domestic violence, kids, and and and, and women, that's a real sensitive topic. And this woman, she was tagging Jeannie Buss, the Lakers, all these people in, in her post. So she obviously was serious. And she posted videos, photos, in, I think, video online. She posted the photos in the video online, but people got the screenshots. Before she could delete her post, people went and got the screenshots of what she put up there. So, man, this situation going to get crazy, man. I mean, Christian Woods, man, you know what I'm saying? Again, I'm not casting no aspersions upon the brother because I don't know him like that. I don't know him to cast no aspersions upon him. So I don't think that's right if you cast aspersions upon somebody you don't know. But I'm just telling y'all, man, like, I'm not just trusting every single thing because, like I said, how could, he, how could he know where she lived if, if didn't nobody tell him? If didn't nobody tell this man where that woman lived, how, how he just pop up at her crib unless the man talked to his son and his son gave him the location. That's the only way I can see it, y'all. That's the only way I can see it, like, you had to have talked to that man in order to get the low. Cause I mean, or the, or you had or somebody who knew where the kid was at had to have talked to the man in order for him to get the low. But you ain't just getting a location like that. You're not just getting that location like that. That that's that's not happening. That's dead. That's that's definitely not happening. That you getting a location like that. That's not happening, y'all. So I, all I can say is, man, is that I hope Christian Woods, man. You know what I'm saying? Get the situation under control because, you know what I'm saying, bro? This is a bad look, man. And then let me address one last thing, bro. Here's the mistake that this dude made, right? Here's the mistake that he made, bro. Bro, you can't approach no woman with no shovel, brother. Bro, you 6'10", 6'11". Bro, you can't, over 220 pounds. Bro, you can't approach no woman with no shovel, man. Bro, you, you, they're going to convict you right there, whether you did it or not. That's that's the biggest mistake you can make. Why would you approach the woman's door with a shovel? Like, and then she said you threatened to beat her, take her life and beat her face in with the shovel. Like, come on, bro. Like, you, you got the shovel in your hand. So you show up to her house. Your SUV is on camera. You on tape. You got a shovel in your hand. You 6'10". 
and you out here in this video of you out here you know what I'm saying with a shovel in your hand arguing with this chick like come on bro man y'all niggas man, man these niggas trying to give away money bro bro they, they trying to give away money and see the reason why you talk about stuff like this is because it helps the other knucklehead youth learn a lesson and not waste your money on dumb stuff and lose your time if somebody got your child and you know what I'm saying you trying to go get your child bro you don't go get your child like that brother you got all that money man bro listen 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 you ain't no gangster you ain't in the streets you ain't none of that bro go get the authorities to go get your kid if you have custody of your child and somebody else got your child bro and he shouldn't be out here tussling with that woman man for what it shouldn't even been never even even been a conversation it should have never even been a conversation you know what i'm saying so but what i'm saying is, is that even if the woman is lying about the situation the man went the, the man had a shovel the man had a shovel bro <laughs> so i mean how you gonna explain that when they say hey yo why you had a shovel in your head you know what i'm saying because they're gonna say hey when you saw when you when you is a woman that got your child but you approach her with the shovel like i'm just saying bro like that's the part that they're gonna try and make him look bad i ain't capping i'm dead ass serious dog i ain't capping my brother to the to the dude in the comment section y'all be thinking i'll be making these stories up y'all be thinking i'll be making these stories up bro go look at it the bro the pictures was online the hell is you think of, what the hell is you think i'm telling you something that ain't that ain't true huh the woman the woman posted on instagram the pictures of this man arguing with her in front of her house what is y'all talking about what is, what is i don't understand what's wrong with these people on youtube oh no this story's cap man no it ain't it's all over the news look it up look it up and this man right here is a damn fool and shout out to the brother right here said it's on twitter i just watched it shout out to this brother right here who said he just watched it get these other clowns out of here man like get these clowns out of here bro i come in here and tell y'all a story that's being reported and it's true then it's video footage and cameras out here and i'm telling y'all that i ain't saying the man's guilty until it's proven in a court of law and y'all still gonna sit out here talking about oh yeah man see what i'm saying man because see see uh ticket you capping man you making this ain't nobody lying man it's all it's all out here man the man has went viral right now the, the man is bro the lakers may end up cutting this man because of this he may end up losing his job just because of the, the optics of the situation, bro. And that might be the end of his career. So it's important that young fellas see this and don't do this dumb shit, approaching a woman with a goddamn on shovel, bro. Come on, man. You play for the Los Angeles Lakers, brother, and the National Basketball Association. Give him these brothers. And, and listen, he could be right. He might not have did. He might not have threatened her. He might not have did none of that stuff. Bro, they're going to ask you why you went and approached her with, and argued with her with a shovel in your hand, brother. That All all you need is them optics right there with a woman. That's all you need is them optics with, them, with a woman right there. Straight up. So that's why I be telling people like on your online, bro. Y'all y'all can't take these trolls serious online, bro. It's disgusting what trolling has become on YouTube. It's disgusting, bro. On on online and on YouTube, all this other stuff, bro. I'm just trying to tell y'all, man. You arguing with another woman over your baby when you play for the Lakers, man, bro. You a multi-millionaire. Call somebody to go over there with the authorities and get your kid, bro. I ain't gotta go through all that. I'm not finna go out here, sacrifice my career, my money to be arguing with some chick I don't even know. Meanwhile, in this era we live in, everybody got ring cam. Everybody got. Everybody got cameras on their on their front door. Everybody got cameras outside their house now. And you sitting out here, you play for the Lakers, you out here with a shovel in your hand, looking like a damn fool. He need to get scorched for that. And I'm just telling y'all what it is, man. And that's the problem with this era right now. They ain't get no discipline when they was growing up. They ain't had no big brothers telling them, don't do that dumb shit. Y'all be egging these suckers on and making excuses for these Ill fools doing foolishness. That's the worst part about about a lot of y'all. Straight up.
Yeah, man. People got those ring door cams. They be catching everything on those ring door cams, y'all. Like brother said. Okay. All right, brother. People be on them ring door cams, man. You can catch everything, y'all. So, yeah, man. Christian Woods, man. You gotta calm down, brother. You tripping, bro? You tripping for real, brother? You gonna go up there? You gonna go to the crib with the shovel in your hand and you play for the Lakers, man? Come on, brother. Come on, man. It's hard to defend you. It's hard to defend you. But the young guys need to listen to this so that they don't make the same dumbass mistake and lose their money. You know what I'm saying? So this is just the fact of the case, man. And y'all can go online and look it up. The video's going viral online, man. You know what I'm saying? And so Christian Wood's been going through a lot this year. He's not having a good season. He's been upset, frustrated. I mean, and I told y'all, a lot of players, I just told y'all the other day on, on my channel, a lot of these athletes going through stuff, bro. Y'all don't even know this. A lot of these pro athletes and pro basketball players, they go through a lot, bro. Y'all was sitting there telling me, hey, man, he going to, man, they don't, people don't, people want you to see you perform. A lot of these dudes be going through baby mama drama, all this stuff. A lot of players do it, bro, but you still got to perform. A lot of athletes do it just in general. A lot of pro athletes go through a lot of stuff. They make bad decisions with women, bad decisions family-wise with their kids and stuff, and then you got to deal with the consequences. So this is just the truth of the situation, man. This man lost his cool. He probably was upset about not getting playing time, upset about a lot of different things. And, you know, he approached it the wrong way by even going over to her crib. He shouldn't even never did that. He should have never did that, you know? He never should have did that, y'all, ever. Worst mistake he ever made. Worst mistake he ever made. So, man, I pray Christian Woods, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know, uh, don't lose his NBA career. <clears throat> but, again, man, you know, that situation, man, that his, the what he's in, he might end up losing. He might lose his career over this, depending on if it goes somewhere. Because of, because how teams going to look at him, he's going to be a free agent. Teams ain't going to want to sign you and stuff when you got stuff like this going on. I'm just telling y'all this, man. So, y'all definitely let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, like, share, subscribe, man. Ring the bell. Holla. Hey, man, I'll holla back, y'all.